Hello, welcome to the Villages Florida. My name is David. I'm a realtor with Florida Realty Investments and I can be reached at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. Today we're going to take a look at what I think one of the best deals in the Villages is. The property we're going to be taking a look at today is the cheapest on a per square foot basis in the villages of the single family residences. It is under $171 a square foot. And we're going to be taking a look at the neighborhood. We're going to have drone footage. We're going to have photographs. We're going to have a walkthrough. And we're going to have an analysis of the surrounding area and what prices per square foot are estimated to be. So let's begin by taking a look at the area itself. You can see on this map the highlighted property. This neighborhood is surrounded by a golf course and uh, the neighborhood is very scenic as you'll see when I start showing you drone footage. We'll get to the drone footage in a moment but let's start by taking a look in more detail at this neighborhood. The prices you can see superimposed over each home are Zillow's estimate of its current market value. Let's take a closer look. What you see here is a highlight with the green numbers show you the square footage and the red number is Zillow's estimate of its current market value. Below it in black, you can see what that equates to in dollars per square foot. Highlighted property is $171 a square foot. Its two neighbors are estimated to be 182 and 201. And you can see if you pause the video that uh, prices are estimated by Zillow to range between $182 and over $230 a square foot. Here are two very recent comps in the neighborhood. Uh, the property in the top left is 2,276 square feet. It sold for $638,000, which is $280 a square foot on the 9th of December of last year, 2022. It was originally listed for $699,000. The property in the lower right is 2,054 square feet. It sold for $470,000, which is $229 a square foot. That was the 22nd of November of 2022. That house was originally listed for $599,000. Here are several views of the home that sold for $638,000 in December. You can get some idea of what the neighborhood is like and what the homes there look like. Here are some pictures of the house that sold for $470,000, once again 2,054 square feet, and this was originally listed uh, for almost $600,000. Here we look at some drone footage. We're traveling down the street towards the east. The house that we just passed on the left is the property we're considering today. The house on our left now is the one that sold in November. As we rise up, you can get some idea of what surrounds the neighborhood. It's very scenic. And uh, this is a view heading back down the street the other way. The house is to our right with the dark gray roof. Very scenic, as you can see. Here we focus on the property we're considering, and as we rise up, you get some sense of what surrounds it. Another look at the neighborhood. This is a typical of one of the nicer neighborhoods here in the villages. A lot more uh, space around each home, a lot more privacy, and proximity to one of the championship golf courses here in the villages. As we elevate, you can get some idea of uh, the more distant surroundings. We're going to do a full 360 view here. You can get some perspective on what the neighborhood and its surrounds are like. Here we approach the house through the front door. I'll point out some things that I like and don't like as we go through. A uh, very spacious entryway leading into the living room. 
the kitchen opening up to the living room and a breakfast nook. Uh, lots of light. Notice the natural light coming in from above the kitchen. Here we go through the kitchen towards the garage. You can see it's a very spacious garage and between the kitchen and the garage, uh, a nice work area. We leave the kitchen now and we head towards the master bedroom. The first thing that stands out is the carpeting here but I will point out that the carpeted area is a very minimal square footage and shouldn't take much money to replace whether you like a different carpet or wooden flooring is entirely up to you. The closet is very spacious. It's a walk-in closet. Plenty of room here for uh, a couple. Walk-in shower, there is no bath and we head back through the bedroom out into the lanai. There are two lanais. The first is fully enclosed as you see here. And it has a potential workshop to the side with uh, attic access. Now we head from the living room towards the other bedrooms. Uh, the carpeting, I think, is something that uh, might not be to everybody's taste, but as I pointed out, it's not very much square footage, so if you are willing to replace it with other carpet or with uh, wooden flooring, it shouldn't be that expensive. Obviously, this home is currently unoccupied. This is the second bathroom. This does have a bath. It is for the use of those other two bedrooms. And now we walk from the kitchen towards the back, getting some sense of uh, what is outside the windows. This is the uh, screen lanai. Uh, those hedges obviously provide a lot of privacy. So that concludes our look at this property. As I said, this is the cheapest on a per square foot basis for any single family residence here in the villages. I think it's an interesting deal for someone who is willing to replace the carpet. The house seems uh, spacious and light, and I think for the right buyer, it's a tremendous opportunity. Once again, my name is David. I can be reached at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. If you have any questions on real estate here in the villages, if there's an area you'd like to take a look at, or uh, you're interested in selling your property and trying to maximize your return, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you or to answer any questions that you have. Hope to hear from you. Take care.